uh, today we will discuss the video 6 of thermodynamic concept for ending design series here we will discuss the dew point calculation how to do the dew point calculations and what are the uses of dew point calculation in design industry so this is about me I am presenter of this video so Lokesh Kumar Singh CUMD Petrohydrogen Oil and Gas Engineering Private Limited so this is about my education qualification and experience to know about more to our comp about our company you can visit our company website and our company facebook page so dew point calculations include dew point pressure calculation dew point temperature calculation and dew point composition so dew point calculation are required for gas pipeline steady state as well as transient steady dew point calculation are utilized for slug volume calculation in the pipeline and sizing of slug catcher see uh, dew point see when we transport gas through the pipeline whether it is on uh, with on onshore pipeline or offshore pipeline means subsea pipeline or ground pipeline or underground pipeline so we need to know what is the dew point of uh, gas because when gas travel from one place to another place through the pipeline so the pressure drops occur so pressure drop causes temperature drop so the temperature drop we want to see that how much gas will condense at particular temperature if it reaches to the dew point so if we know the dew point we will be knowing that what will be the slug volume slug is like liquid volume collected in a gas pipeline in in the formation of batches and the band formations so when the gas is moving and then we collect the gas we receive the gas on onshore so there we need to size the slug catcher so based on this dew uh, this uh, slug volume will fix the capacity of slug catcher so that's why this dew point is very important to uh, dew point calculation is very important for gas pipeline study so it is required to perform dew point calculation to know whether gas will condense the pipeline or not if yes then how much how much liquid fraction and gas fraction which help to know the total slug volume in the pipeline in this video I will teach you how to calculate dew point temperature experimentally and manual calculation for dew point pressure calculation for vapor and gas system we can perform dew point calculation using s hyacinth but in this video I will teach you how to do it manually so that you understand how s hyacinth perform these calculation So dew point present temperature. So in this video, we'll explain how Espen Heiss is calculated dew point present temperature and how dew point present temperature can be calculated manually. So first thing is to know what is dew point present temperature practically. So here we'll take a vessel uh, with the cooling coils and inside the vessel is gas, filled gas, which is dry gas, and on this vessel the pressure gauge and temperature temperature gauge is mounted to read the pressure and temperature of this vessel so first we need to understand the dew point definition what is it so at fixed pressure dew point temperature is the temperature of gas vapor where the condensation of gas and vapor just started so let's say this uh, you will understand this definition more clearly when I will explain you here so let's say we have a dry gas in this vessel and we start cooling this gas so what will happen due to the cooling the temperature of this uh, gas will start reducing and at certain point when we keep on cooling the gas will start condensing so the temperature reading at that point will give you the dew point temperature at this pressure which is you can see this reading of pressure at that time so I think you understand what is the dew point temperature 
So, how Raoult's law apply for the two point calculation for ideal gases or vapor? At dew point, as stated above, there is only vapor liquid fraction. See, at dew point condition, the vapor just has started to condense in. So, which the condense means the liquid formation. So, at the starting of this condensation, the condensation process, the liquid fraction is insignificant at dew point. So, thereby we consider the sigma xi is 1 at dew point. This is our assumption for the dew point calculation using the Raoult's law for ideal gas and vapor. So, now Raoult's law is this one yip equal to xi pi set. So, if we put the summation on both the sides for, you know, for considering the all components, so it becomes like this. So, sigma uh, xi equal to 1. So, this relationship become like this. So, p is equal to 1 upon sigma yi upon pi set where p is the dew point pressure. So, for binary system, if we consider binary system, then the component I is 2, 1 and 2. So, this equa equation becomes this one. So, this equation we can use for dew point pressure calculation for binary system. So, this is the final equation we can write like this. So, here y1, y2 is known from the gas given mixture. If binary mixture of gases, so we know y1 and y2 because this is uh, the first gas. If we, we have two gases, so this uh, first gas uh, vapor uh, gas phase fraction and this is second gas um, gas phase fraction or mole fraction, whatever unit you take. So, and P1, P2 set is the saturation pressure which can be calculated from Antonio equation which is here so we can consider for component 1 component 2 you can calculate like this so pressure in Kelvin uh, kilopascal and temperature in, will be in Kelvin if you put the temperature here in Kelvin so pressure you will get in kilopascal a b c component 4 uh, um, well, uh, Antonio constant value you can get from the data book like Perry um, for component pure component 1 and similarly for pure component 2 these value a b c a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 will be different for both the com pure components component 1 component 2 that's why at the skipping at same temperature both in both the equation will give the different p1 set and p2 set values by substituting these value in these equations uh, in this equation 2 like y1, y2 and p1, p2 set, you can get the value of dew point pressure at a given temperature T. So, once we know these, one, these values, so now we can calculate the liquid fraction. See, now we have calculated the dew point pressure, which is P we have already calculated. So, now if we want to calculate the composition, at the dew point, so we'll use this equation yip equal to xi pi set and x1 will be y1 x1 for this is for binary system so x1 will be y1 p upon p1 set and x2 equal to y2 p upon p2 set x2 equal to 1 minus x1 so once we know x1 we can get the x2 also so we can use this relationship we know y1 we know p now dew point pressure we know p1 set already calculated so we can get the x1 value and x2 value so, we got dew point pressure, we got the y1, y2 and we got the x1, x2. So, now uh, we know everything, dew point pressure, uh, vapor phase fraction yi, liquid phase fraction xi. In next video, we will explain you how to calculate the dew point temperature at the given pressure. Here we have calculated, uh, he, here I teach you how to calculate the dew point pressure at the given temperature T. In the next video, I will explain you how to calculate the dew point temperature at given pressure P. So, thanks for watching our video. Um, this is Petro Horizon offering for Petroleum, Chemical and Mechanical Engineering students. We provide 
one month duration validated training courses six hour training 60 hour training training fees is 10,000 to 15,000 and the second course is six month engineering design skill development training and placement assistance is 300 hour training and certification program training fees is 50,000 this is uh, this first course is for first year second year third year final year student second course is for only third year and final year student because after completion of six month training we provide opportunity to work in uh, engineering design MNCs and domestic companies we also provide free consultation for third year and final year student project work in design field if you do the project in design field it, it will make you stand out of the crowd and you will get attention for your examiner and during your job campus interview also you have a good impression that you have done a oil and gas design field project in your curriculum work we also we are providing three day demo, uh, demo training awareness classes at Tehradun company office to know exactly what is engineering design and what are the job prospects in this fields because most of the people don't know what is engineering design and they think engineering design is AutoCAD but it's nothing to do with AutoCAD uh, AutoCAD is done by the diploma holders it's not by the um, engineering graduates so we are successfully running two training batches since May 2017 one is value training courses it's uh, about uh, it's a foundation course for Aspen Hyacinth training and the second course we are running mechanical design engineering batch which is six month training batch our batch size is only 10 uh, per batch 10 student per batch because we want to give the full attention and make their concepts uh, crystal clear so by mail you can contact us on this mention email IDs and numbers and you can also visit our company office to discuss anything and consult this is in Prem Nagar, Prem Nandaki Chauki near Punjab National Bank, Suddhawala Road, Dehradun please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updated with new videos you can also visit our company website uh, www.petrohygen.com there you will find the direct link for all our YouTube channel videos Thanks a lot once again for watching our video. Bye-bye.